Okay, this is the um, prototype magnetic coupling for the Tesla Turbo Mark IV. So, what is a magnetic coupling and how does it work? Well, if you can imagine a shaft coming out of some sort of casing, um, even though it may be a tight seal, um, you, under high pressure, you could get gases or steam or liquid. Um, so that's particularly important for us. So you have these things called magnetic couplings, which get used in industry, usually food industry, because you don't want oils from the bearings or any contaminants from the motor getting into your food when it's like being mixed or pumped around to the factory. Um, in our case, we're using it for the output shaft because we don't want steam or in some cases some people might be using some nasty gases um, in the actual turbine so they don't want that leaking out. So what we have here is um, effectively two groups of magnets and a seal. So we have an inner magnet as you can see there it's quite attracted even to the screwdriver. Um, then this here is uh, a stainless steel casing that sits over that magnet and it's got a little groove in there to cope with, and we have a, an o-ring in there to seal it all up because that can cope with really high pressures and then this magnet here then sits over everything and so you can see that you've got um, four segments four arc magnets and you have the same configuration in the inner magnet and they align and when one turns the other wants to turn in the same position so if you rotate the shaft at one end um, it will turn the shaft at the other end even though there's no physical connection whatsoever there's no shaft linking them it's just using pure magnetic magnetics in thin air to actually drive two halves of the shaft 